National Service, comprising an advance in review order drill, a sea display, and an aerial fly past. Now let's watch a video in tribute to those who have contributed to or supported National Service in the past 45 years. Although I was enlisted more than 30 years ago, I can still remember my OCS days. It was tough. That intensity that I demand, regimentation, discipline, help with our practice. has changed a lot over the years. With the advancement of technology, our soldiers are now better equipped to carry out their missions. But one thing hasn't changed, and that's the need for every man to do his best. We still train hard, but we are more efficient and focused in what we do. So for me, I always aim to do my best, whatever the exercise or mission. serving in the police force is just an extension of his duties as a father and husband. Do I worry when he's on duty? Well... I always tell her, it's okay. My men and I received very good training from the Singapore Police Force. My husband has served 22 years. He loves police work. And uh, for my children especially, I think they're very happy to brag that their father is a policeman. When you're patrolling at sea, we have to handle everything. My supervisor is like giving me instruction and my officer is asking me for this. I'm the navigation system operator. When we make contact with another vessel, I have to identify it. It could be a ship straying off course or a boat carrying illegal cargo. We have to be sure because we are protecting Singapore's sea line of communication. I can see that he's very proud of what he does and I think it's quite cool. I'm very proud of him. They put us through all sorts of things in our basic training. Because he's in SEDF, my son had to do things he never did before. Things he could never even imagine. I was going through my mind, of course, it's a little bit of a fear, but my mentality was uh, there were many, many benches for us to go through the training. So if they could do it, so could I. It's, uh, it's a bright feeling. In 2010, I volunteered to participate in Operation Use of Fire as part of SCS effort to counter piracy in the Gulf of Aden. I served as an active specialist on board the Super Puma. Sammy was away for two months. His department had to reassign his project. It was disruptive. But then again, we are proud to have someone from our firm serving the country in an overseas mission. I think it's crucial that our NS men are always operationally ready. Then, when they are called upon to do their job, we are confident that they will perform well. They actually pose a lot of challenges to us so they become stronger people who are more confident about ourselves and able to break through our own mental barriers and able to challenge ourselves to greater heights. And that's really unites us as Singaporeans. Some of my platoon mates have different backgrounds, or we speak different languages. But because of NS, we all learn to live and work together. It's a very Singaporean thing, and it has been like that since my father's time. Now when I see my son serving NS, I realize that the responsibility of defending the nation has been passed from my generation to theirs. And I hope to see this responsibility passed to his next generation for the future of Singapore.
In recognition of the commitment and